then, this is it. We're well and truly on our way now to the operating theatre, and not for me and my old man back, but for this Jaguar. We're on our way to Madder Customs in the Norwich area. It's run by two chaps, Rob and Trav, who sent me a message on Instagram maybe a month ago or so, saying, hey, we really want to help you fix your car, and we'll put you up in a hotel if you come up and do it with us for a few days. So they very kindly came and met me. I had a meeting, and they turned out not to be murderers, and they were actually legitimate. So we're on our way now, and essentially, we're going to take that MOT certificate that I have with all the advisories and address them, including rust. And not only that, I'm going to have a go at all of it myself as well. So this is going to be a very interesting few episodes on the channel, essentially doing a mini restoration on this car. And what that means is that the car is going to be in absolutely sublime condition for the wedding, which we are still planning on using this car to drop off my wife to be Katie at the church. So that's the plan. We're going to get this thing completely restored, rejuvenated. And yes, there's other things like the interior leather and the steering wheel. It needs some dye. It might even need replacing. And that'll be something a bit later down the line. But for now, at least, mechanically speaking, we're going to get this thing spot on. Without further ado, I'll carry on this drive. We're somewhere just, I think we're near Norfolk now. I'm not too sure, but we've passed the London area anyway. It's just after 9am. Uh, it's very windy, very mild day. The Jag's doing rather well. The only complaint and criticism I have with this car is that I've just never quite been able to get comfortable. I'm always adjusting the seat a little bit, whether it's the lumbar or the forwards and back or moving the wheel. I can never, I've still never quite been able to get comfortable in this thing. But anyway, that's not what's important today. We're gonna get this thing sorted. So let's get up to Matter Customs, get to Norwich, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys when we arrive. So here we are then, we made it up to Norfolk and we're now in the Matter Customs studio under these gorgeous lights and the Jag made the 150 or 60 mile journey with ease, it was fantastic. But as mentioned, today we're here and the next few days to go through this list. Now, although we did get the car through the MOT, as lots of you noticed and, and looked at on the DVLA website, there's plenty and plenty of advisories left on the car that, well, need sorting. It would be such a shame to let this stunning and very rare car go to scrap, essentially. So today we're going to do the first sort of appraisal, look at the car and uh, see if it's going to be possible to save it from the scrapyard. Okay, so car is successfully up in the air without any major problems. Now it's probably a good time actually to introduce you to Trav, who's found, what else have you found now? Do you want to write this on the bottom of that piece of paper you found? <laughs> <laughs> well, funnily enough, I was going to talk to you about this because essentially these are the advisories remaining after the well, final MOT I got, which passed the car. Um, and yeah, I guess I just wanted to sort of find out if these sound particularly terrifying. It's just the rust, really. Uh, most of this is generally stuff that you can do on your driveway. It's like suspension components, as long as you've got a jack and some tools. You've got a bit of slight corrosion around your rear subframe, which we can just clean up with a wire brush. Have a, just a brief look under there. It doesn't actually look all that bad, to be fair. And the tyres have been done, and all in all, the car is driving, like, it's driving really, I mean, I just drove it 150, 160 miles up here now. So yeah, one thing I should say is that one of the reasons I'm here is that you guys were, you know, you really wanted to help out with the car, which is amazing, but you're also quite keen to see me as well as you guys getting my hand dirty as well. Why not? So <laughs> looking through that MOT list, you think some of the stuff we might be able to tackle Yeah. and maybe we just want to probably get the wheels off and have a little bit more of a rummage. Yeah, I think so. We're going to get the wheels off. We're going to get some bars out, have a look around the car. I should mention as well, if you want to see more in depth of what we're doing, you guys are doing a video with this car on your channel as well. And you've also been doing lots of other projects as well on the channel. You had yeah, like two yeah. Z3M coupes, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, so the blue Z3M we're still doing, that is like a full repaint, um, which is still undergoing. It's actually now coming to the end of it. A couple of other cool big projects come up as well. We've got an Audi RS2 outside. We've got this 
1999 quid <laughs> jag <laughs> which we're now going to try and um, get our heads around <laughs> yeah i mean i'm super excited to have the opportunity to you know get some tools in my hand and have a little bit of a go myself hopefully we we've got some suspension bits we know that need doing because they're on the advisories we'll, we'll check that out but maybe i could even have a go at trying to fit some of them myself cool well should we should we get some wheels off and maybe have a little look around? yeah let's get into it nice okay then well finally as promised i have a tool in my hand something that well you've probably never seen certainly with this car and to start with, we're just gonna take the wheels off so that we can have a slightly better look at the well, rear suspension. Mechanic. Yeah, and immediately it exposes a load of stuff we couldn't see before, which is great, but also these brake discs are very much finished. This is actually something I'm gonna try and do myself also in the future, so stay tuned um, i'm learning mechanical things so that i can do more of this relatively basic maintenance myself but yeah the brakes are something i want to tackle once we've done all the bits we've got to do here okay did i do a good job taking the wheels off well i think so they're yeah. off <laughs> so you took a wheel off before, <laughs> didn't break right? anything i have done, i've done that before <laughs> i have to say it is nice having like an indoor space oh, yeah. with a scissor and, jack. Yeah, I was gonna say, it. don't forget, like we are doing this on a lift and it is obviously a lot easier, but mostly with what we're doing, you can initially actually do it at home on your driveway. Is there anything that jumps out at you in terms of those MOT advisories or anything else? Definitely your brakes. I think that should have been put down for an advisory. Yeah, I noticed that. much sort of in there on your pads. They are definitely on the limit. Actually, you said driving up here as well, didn't you? you sort of started to notice started that sort of metal that. on metal noise. Yeah. And then is there anything sort of on, on the rear that, I mean, so what is it on the advisories? It's the rear shocks. They're not gonna last much longer, are they? No. <laughs> so as far as your rear end goes, I mean, overall, it doesn't look too bad. Even your, yeah, your rear discs definitely want doing, but your pads don't look as bad as the front, but still should have been picked up and maybe put down as an advisory. Is this you, Joel? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> what, you... what on earth are you talking about? <laughs> Cable tie. Cable tie? <laughs> I have no idea how that got there. It is fun though to see my own car. Yeah, like yeah, what other, they are. yeah. Yeah. Because you always want to be able to know exactly what's going on, but yeah. it's just you don't always have the ability to do that. So. I mean, I've never actually seen a Mondeo um, underneath. So. <laughs> Okay, cool. So we've been around the car. I've managed to take a couple of wheels off. Very oh, proud of myself. <laughs> First mechanical undertaking of these, well, next few episodes because you seem to think we might be able to actually tackle more or less all of the stuff on this advisories list, which is amazing news. Yeah, mostly. The, the rust right now, because it's on a scissor jack, we, it's literally on the sill, so we can't fully inspect. Yeah, it's a mid-rise lift. So basically the car currently is sat on the lift, mostly takes up the underside of the car, so we don't, actually have access to the seals currently but you've got someone that can come in and yeah the rear shocks we're going to get in and we're going to get them done awesome we've got the rear brake hoses on order as well so we're just waiting for them to turn up so we're going to tackle them that's awesome so we're basically ordering rear shocks rear brake lines and also we're going to do an oil change while we're here because why not? Might as well. That should be a nice little thing for me to try as well. I've always wanted to do my own. Yeah. Actually, I did do an oil change on my old Range Rover, but it was kind of disastrous. So, <laughs> okay, this has gone quite badly because I've got diesel in my f***ing eye. Ah, f Thank you guys for watching this episode. Thanks again to Matter Customs for inviting me to bring the car here for the work. And of course, they will have a video on their channel sort of as a whole overarching thing of this entire series. So make sure you go over to their channel and subscribe and check out their other content too. But we'll see you next week then for I guess the rust will probably be the first thing we tackle. So make sure you stay tuned, subscribe if you're not already. We'll see you next week. Get the underside of this car back to how it should be. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you all very, very soon. So here we are then, we made it up to, well, not very sunny Norfolk, very windy. We're, we are in Norfolk, aren't we? Yeah. Are we in Norfolk? <laughs> oh, wow. Hello.
What's that? That is what we call a wee bit in, in, in garages. You throw it away. Wee! <laughs> <laughs> yes. I did a mechanical thing. <laughs>